Hi everyone, Team Scorpio here and welcome back to the channel. Today's Starship build is a fun build that I've been wanting to try out for a little while. I had a few goals with this build. First is I wanted more of a rounded profile than what you typically see in Starfield. The other is I wanted to try and hide some of the elements of the ship that you normally see within the structure. I went through a couple different design ideas and then came up with this, the Raider. This is a Class B fighter style ship that has some interesting design elements to it. First, the weapons are all hidden in pods in the wings, so you cannot see them until they're fired. The other thing you will notice with this build is there's no visible bridge or cockpit for the ship. The ship does have a bridge, but it's tucked into the body of the ship so that we can maintain some of the cleaner lines of the ship and give it more of a robotic look. The only downside to this is you do need to fly the ship in third person view. The last thing I did with this build is I built it all start to finish at the outpost ship builder. I had a couple comments on my previous videos that a lot of the parts are available at the outpost. So I wanted to see what I could come up with there. No jumping from planet to planet with this build. Now this is a class B ship. So you will only need your piloting skill at rank three. But to make sure you have access to all your parts, you do need to be at level 60 and your starship design skill at rank four. I would also recommend having your shield skill, your particle beam weapon skill, and your engine skill all ranked up to take advantage of this build. Now, before we begin the build, a disclaimer. These builds are designed to serve as general guides and inspiration. You can follow these builds exactly or use them as inspiration for your own designs. If there are design elements that you feel could be improved or other parts you prefer to use, feel free to modify the build however you like. Let your creativity run wild. Now let's begin the build. We are here in New Atlantis as our normal starting off point, but we don't need anything from here. We're gonna hop over to our outpost. Now, I built mine in the Schrodinger section on Schrodinger 3. This is my own personal preference for an outpost. Where you have your outpost will depend entirely on what you built your outpost for. If you're using it to mine resources, there are much better planets and moons to set up shop. I selected Schrodinger 3 for a few reasons. First, the climate is generally mild. And second, it's home to these foxbat creatures. These are an excellent source of XP, so I set up some animal husbandry pods so I can hunt them. Now on your outpost, you will need a landing pad. I use the large one, which has our ship builder console on it. You can access that. And the first thing we need is a ship to build off of. It really doesn't matter what ship you buy as we're not gonna use any of the parts off this ship. If you have a spare ship already, then you can use that and skip this step. The selection here will be random, so just select the least expensive one on the list. Once we have our ship, we can now enter the ship builder. Let's start by deleting the sacrificial ship. This gives us a blank canvas to build off of. I'm gonna list all the parts on screen that you need. Pause the video now and get shopping. Okay, now that you have your parts, let's review to make sure we purchased everything. Let's start with the mechanical parts. 
For the bridge, we're going with the Magellan C1X. For the reactor, we're going with the 104DS Mag Internal Reactor. For our grav drive, the RD3000 Beta Grav Drive. For engines, we're getting four Nova 1050 engines. For the fuel tanks, two 900T fuel tanks. For our landing bay, we're picking up the Nova NG6. For the docker, we're going with the Demos 100DP Slim. For our landing gear, four Acculander 11s. For our shield, we're going with the Vanguard shield, or if you want your best Class B shield. And for cargo, we're getting two 200cm ballast shielded cargo holds. Now this build does have halves, and you can use whatever manufacturer you prefer, but these are what I used. A 3x1 Demos Engineering Bay, 3x1 Demos Living Quarters, a 2x1 Stroud Control Station, a 2x1 Teo Science Lab, a 2x1 Nova Workshop, a 2x1 Stroud All-in-One, a 2x1 Nova Captain's Quarters, and a 1x1 Teo Companion Way. For the structural pieces, we have 16 Stroud Cap A's, 4 Stroud Nose Cap B Four Tops, 2 Stroud Cowling 1 LA PTs, 2 Stroud Cowling 3 LA PTs, 2 Stroud Cap C Aft Tops, 2 Stroud Nose Cap 2B Four Tops, 2 Nova Weapon Mounts, 2 Nova Bracers, 3 Nova Cowling 2L TFs, 2 Dimos Belly Afts, 2 Teo Cowling Aft Tops, 2 Teo Braking Engines, and for weapons, we went with 4 PB-175s and 4 PBO-175s. Now, before we get into putting this all together, let's talk about glitching parts. We're going to use this technique throughout the build, so let's review how to do this. I'm going to explain how to do this using the PC, as that's what I play on. You're going to use the same technique on Xbox. Glitching parts allows you to blend one part into another, or fit a piece in a spot where it normally would not fit. For you to be able to glitch a piece together, you need a couple things. First, you need an open hook point, and second, the piece you are trying to glitch needs to be either flippable or has a variation to it. To glitch a piece, take the piece you are trying to glitch and attach it where you want it to go. You'll notice it'll turn red, indicating the piece can normally not go there. While continuing to hold your left mouse button, press Z to flip the piece, and then Z again to flip it back to its original position. Release your left mouse button and hit Escape. You should see the piece now blend into the other piece. If you need to practice this technique a couple times, pause the video here. Otherwise, let's get to our build. We're going to start with our landing bay. Move that over to the open spot. Next, take the one by one hab and place that on top of the landing bay towards the back. Now take that cockpit and attach it to the front of the 1x1 hab. Now we have our landing bay attached to the cockpit. Now we're going to build the habs around the cockpit. Start with the control station 2x1 hab and place that on the right side of the ship. The back of the hab should be attached to the 1x1 and the front somewhat even with the cockpit. Next. Take the all-in-one 2x1 and place that on the other side of the ship in the same position as we place the control station. Now take the science lab and attach it to the control station. They should line up evenly. Take the workshop and place that behind the science lab. Finally, take your captain's quarters and put that behind the all-in-one. You can see at this point, we kind of have a U shape to the ship. Now, 
let's take both the reactor and the grav drive, attach side by side, and that's going to go in the center of the empty space towards the back. It should be even with the HABs. Next, take the two fuel tanks and attach those just behind the HABs. They should be placed so the bottom of the tanks are even with the bottom of the HABs. The tops will stick out a little. Now let's add our other HABs, the three by ones. Take the living quarters and attach this over the bridge section. The back of the HAB should be against the tank and the front covering the top of the bridge. Now take the engineering bay and put that next to the living quarters. As you can see, the bridge is now surrounded by HABs. Let's add the docker next. This should go on the front hook point on top of the living quarters HAB. While we're here, let's place the shield generator on the hook point right next to the docker. Now we're gonna add our landing gears. Take the two landing gears and combine them. These are gonna slide under the ship right in the middle between the two halves. Take the other landing gears, flip them so the small edge is facing the outside of the ship and place them on the other side. Next, we're going to place our cargo containers. These are going to go on the sides of the tanks above the HABs on each side. Next, we're going to add our engines. We're going to place one on the HAB, rounded side out, and attached so the engine is even with the bottom of the HAB. Do the same on the other side. Next, take the other engines and attach them together, flat side facing in, and attach those to the tanks in the middle. All four engines should be in the line. Now that we have the core of our ship assembled, let's adjust our camera a little bit before continuing. Now let's build up the shape around the ship a little. Take the large cowling sections and we're going to attach that on top of the 2x1 HABs towards the back. We will need to glitch this piece in place. This will hide the cargo holds under the cowlings. Do the same on the other side. Next, take the smaller cowling sections and attach those in front of the sections we just placed. Now we can see the main body of the ship taking shape, but before we add more to the ship, let's pre-build some parts to make assembly a little easier. We're going to start with the wings of the ship. Take a cap A and let's move that over into the open area. Now take another one, flip it and attach it to the bottom of the first one. Take another cap, click next variant to reverse the piece and attach that to the piece we just made. Now take one more cap, 
click next variant to reverse it and then flip the piece so it's under the one we just attached. This completes the outside part of our wing section. Now let's do that again, but make this one a mirror image of the piece we just made, flipping all the pieces so we have a wing piece for the other side of the ship. Now that we have our two wing pieces, let's create some of the front sections for the ship. This is basically doing what you did to create the front halves of the wings we just made. We need two of these mirror images of each other. Now that we have those built, let's move the wings over to give us some room to build our last piece. Now we're gonna create the top structure of the ship. This is just gonna be four of the halves together, making almost a shield shape. Flip and rotate the pieces so the flat edges are all connected. Now let's take that top structure and add it to the top of the ship. Double click on the piece to select all the attached pieces and let's move that on top of the ship. It should go on top covering the fuel tanks. The front of the piece should be one hook point behind the docker and shield, and we can see the back of the piece is just covering the center engines. Now let's move some of the other pieces out of the way to make room. And we're gonna move the ship over a bit to give us a little bit more room to work on the front. Let's attach those front horn sections. Double click on the piece and select it all and attach it to the outer two hook points of the body. Do the same on the other side. Now let's finish the front. Take one of the larger nose caps and flip it. This is gonna to attach to the bottom of the open section. It's not gonna immediately fit due to the bridge so we're going to use our glitch trick to fit it in there. Once it's attached, take the other large nose cap and place it on top in the open space. Now we can see the front of our ship is finished and the cockpit is completely hidden. Next, let's pre-build those weapon mounts. For this, I'm going to just take a Nova Bracer and attach it to the Nova weapon mounts. Let's separate them a little bit and make them easier to work with. Next, we're gonna add the weapons. I'm doing this now to make it easier to get the weapons where I want them, rather than try to attach them when the structure's on the ship. For placement, I'm gonna place the PB-175s on the inside of the weapon mounts. Now the PBOs are going to go on the outside. I attach them to the second hook point so that they are just behind the other weapons. Now that the weapon structures are built, we're going to move them so they're on each side of the ship, getting them kind of in place. Now let's take one of our wing pieces and move it over to the outside edge of the weapon mounts. We want to attach the weapon mount to the bottom rear hook point of the wing. It needs to go here so we can align the rest of the wing pieces later. Now we're going to do the same on the other side, making sure the weapon mount is attached to the lower rear hook point of the wing. Now we're going to attach the wing but it needs to be attached to a specific hook point on the side. It needs to go on the front hook point of the rear two by one hab. It's an easy hook point to spot as it's the one just below the little bump on the cowling. So let's take our wing, double click it to select all and attach it to the specified hook point. 
Now let's do the same on the other side of the ship. Now that the wings are attached, it's time to hide those weapon mounts. Take a nose cap, and this will go on the front above the weapon mount. Next, take a rear facing cap, and this will go just behind the piece we just placed. Let's do the same on the other side of the ship. Now we're gonna close in the bottom of the wing. First, take one of the belly aft pieces, flip it so it's facing backwards, and attach it to the back of the Nova Bracer under the wing. Do the same on the other side. Now we're going to take one of our nose caps, flip it, and place it in the same spot as the weapon mount. The piece will turn red, so we're going to have to use our glitch trick to attach it. Let's zoom in a little bit better so we can see it. Take the piece and fit it to the same spot as the weapon mount. Then flip it twice, and release. This will hide the weapon inside the piece, but you'll still be able to fire them like normal. Do the same on the other side. Now our wings are complete and you can see the weapons are hidden inside. Let's finish the bottom of the ship. Take the braking engines and place them in front of the landing gears. Now take your cowlings, change the variant so they're facing backwards, flip them, and attach them to the rear of our landing gears. The last pieces we need to attach are the Nova cowlings. These are gonna go under the ship to blend the docking bay in a little bit better as they have a similar shape. Take your first piece, flip it, and let's put it right next to the landing bay. Now take your next piece, change the variant so it's facing backwards, and flip it. Place that behind the piece we just placed. Take that last piece, and again, Change the variant so it's facing backwards, flip it, and place it just behind the landing bay. And there we go, our ship is assembled. But we still have a few things left to do. First, let's assign the weapons. It really doesn't matter what slots you assign them to, so assign them wherever you like. Next, I'm gonna rename my ship. Name yours whatever you feel fits best. And lastly, we know you can't keep that stock color. Let's darken it up a bit with some black trim. Make yours whatever colors you think look best. Now that the ship is finished, let's exit the builder and go take a tour of our ship. We enter the ship into the one by one hab. This is like the center hub of the ship. In front of us is the cockpit. We'll come back to that later. Turning left leads us into the battle station.
from there, we can go to the science lab and then to the workshop. Do you need me somewhere? I kind of like the layout of this particular workshop. If we head back out through the battle station and cross to the other side of the one by one, we get to the crew quarters. This particular module has some great lighting to it, and I love these beds. We also have a little kitchen area out back, and our bathroom is right here. The next tab over is the captain's quarters. Towards the back, we have this really nice sitting area with a TV and a pretty awesome couch. The other thing I like is the bedroom is separate. And for some reason, Sarah is hanging around like a creep. If we head back out to the one by one and head up to the next level, we enter another living quarters with another big couch and more beds. You can change this out for another three by one hab if you feel like you already have enough living space on the ship. Through the door in the back, we have our engineering bay. This one has a pretty unique coloring to it with this yellow. I don't think I've seen that in any other apps before. It kind of sets it apart from the rest of the ship. If we head back out and go to the other side of our three by one hab, you can see our docking bay here, which kind of drops you into a kitchen. In hindsight, this really does kind of make it awkward. So it may be best to change this for another engineering bay, like maybe a Demos Bay B or something. Let's head down the ladder and check out the cockpit. Now remember, we hid the cockpit in the nose, so we have this giant wall where the window should be. This only gets in the way if you try to fly your ship in first person mode. I fly it in third person, so it doesn't really bother me. And that's the end of our build. Thank you for sticking around to the end. If you like the Starship build, hit like and subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you're notified when I post new videos. I am Team Scorpio, and we'll see you in the next video.